Project. Welcome to King Movie. Today, we're exploring the top 10 sci-fi series on Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Apple TV+. Get ready for an adventure through futuristic worlds and mind-bending stories that'll keep you hooked. Whether you're a hardcore fan or just looking for something new, we've got you covered. So grab your snacks and let's dive into the sci-fi universe together. Forever. You need me. We've got to go now. Have we gone back in time? <laughs> Welcome to the Lazarus Project. Number 10, The Swarm. All right, picture this. Deep in the ocean lurks a mysterious swarm intelligence that starts messing with humans because we've been messing with its home. Scientists like Sigur Johansson and Cecil Roch lead the charge to figure out what's up and try to chat with this enigmatic swarm. The show boasts a diverse cast with stars like Cecil de France and Takuya Kimura. It's a big budget affair, funded by European broadcasters to the tune of Euros 40 million, making it Germany's priciest TV gig ever. While the book is based on Got Thumbs Up, opinions are split on the TV version. Bottom line? The Swarm is a splashy international eco-thriller diving deep into the unknown. Whoever's behind it is learning. Learning. Some sort of intelligent life force. Or an army marching to its orders. What was that? Number 9. The Feed all right, here's the scoop on The Feed. It's a wild ride set in the future where this tech called The Feed links everyone's brains. Season 1 dives into the Hatfield family's drama, especially Tom trying to find his bro Ben, who's caught up in some weird possession mess. There's chaos when Tom shuts down The Feed, and Evelyn figures out how to fight a nasty virus. Plus, Charlie goes off the rails, blaming Danny for some shady stuff. Oh, and Quan gets off by his sis, who then hands power to Meredith. It's a cliffhanger, setting us up for more crazy twists in a potential second season. Welcome to the feed, where our shared experience It's just an enhancement. Show me. It's <laughs> now a reality. Something's wrong. Nothing. Number 8. World of the Worlds All right, buckle up for The War of the Worlds TV series. It's a modern spin on HG, Wells classic, set in Britain and France post-alien invasion. Created by Howard Overman, it stars Gabriel Byan and others. Survivors unite to figure out why aliens wrecked Earth. Each season brings new characters and drama. Think The Walking Dead, but with aliens. Critics dig its vibe and performances. While a fourth season isn't confirmed, the anthology style means more adventures in this reimagined world could be on the horizon. So, grab some popcorn and get ready for an out-of-this-world ride. True, their plans against us. Alright, okay. Just calm down, tinfoil hat man. So... Number 7. Ascension Alright, let's talk about Ascension. It's a sci-fi miniseries from 2014 that's all about a massive spaceship cruising through space on a century-long journey to a new world. Sounds cool, right? But here's the twist. They never actually left Earth. The show follows the folks on board and the folks back home, with loads of surprises along the way. There's even a girl with some crazy teleporting powers. Critics loved the characters and visuals, but weren't too happy about the unresolved plot lines and cliffhanger ending. Some felt it got too caught up in drama instead of the sci-fi stuff. Overall, it's an interesting watch, but leaves you hanging at the end. Say the sweetest things. Ascension is a lifeboat for humanity. Taking with it mankind's hope for survival. Number 6. The Lazarus Project All right, let's dive into The Lazarus Project. It's a Sky series from 2022 following George, who joins this secret group that can mess with time to stop disasters. Season 1 ended with a huge cliffhanger, leaving George and crew scrambling to save the world from a time loop. Season 2 drops on November 15, 2023, promising more time-traveling shenanigans and intense action. The cast, led by Papa Esadu, brings the drama to life, with new faces like Colin Salmon joining in. 
It's a gripping sci-fi tale, tackling big questions about time travel and sacrifice. Fans can't wait to see where the story goes next. We're stuck in an infinite time loop of three weeks. The world will keep being destroyed for, in theory, oh, infinity. For God's sake, George. Sorry. Rebel believes that someone has... Number five, love, death, and robots. Let's talk love, death, and robots. It's this awesome animated series on Netflix with short, standalone episodes, each crafted by different teams. You get a mix of genres like sci-fi, fantasy, horror, and comedy, adapted from stories by big-time authors. What's cool is each episode tells a new story, so you're always in for a surprise. Created by Tim Miller and backed by folks like David Fincher, it's been a hit since 2019. They've dropped three volumes already, and there's a fourth in the works. If you're into diverse, bite-sized tales, this show's definitely worth checking out. Number 4, Andor all right, let's talk Andor. It's a prequel to Rogue One, diving into Cash and Andor's backstory, played by Diego Luna. Set five years before the movie, it follows Cashin's journey into the Rebel Alliance against the Empire. Unlike typical Star Wars stuff, it's more about characters and daily life under Imperial rule. Tony Gilroy, the guy behind Rogue One, is the mastermind. You don't need to be a Star Wars buff to get into it, it stands on its own. Critics love it for its fresh take on the Star Wars universe, focusing more on politics and real-life struggles. It's a must-watch for any fan. Star's completion. Silence is our ally. Sometimes the hardest choices are the only ones that matter. With Ezra Bridger's speech. Number 3. The Lost Room all right, let's dive into The Lost Room. It's this cool sci-fi miniseries from 26, following Detective Joe Miller, played by Peter Cross. He stumbles upon this freaky motel room that can teleport anywhere. The catch? You need this super powerful key to use it, and leaving anything behind makes it vanish. When Joe's daughter gets kidnapped over this key, things get real intense. Plus, there are over 100 other weird objects in play, each with its own powers. Fans loved the original concept and Peter Cross's performance, but the open-ended finale left them hungry for more. It's like a mix of The X-Files and The Twilight Zone. Go anywhere? Anywhere at the door, I think. My God. Since you found the key, has your life gotten better or worse? I need you to make me a promise. Not to tell anyone about the room or the key or anything else, all right? My little girl went into that. Number two, Foundation. Let's talk Foundation. It's this iconic sci-fi book series by Isaac Asimov. It all started with short stories in the 1940s and 50s, later turned into a trilogy of novels. The story? Well, in a future galactic empire, a guy named Hari Seldon uses psychohistory to predict its downfall and sets up two foundations to save knowledge and rebuild civilization. The original trilogy won big awards, and Asimov added more books later on. In 2021, Apple TV Plus dropped a TV series based on the books, starring Jared Harris and others. It's been a hit and got renewed for more seasons. So, if you're into epic sci-fi tales, this one's a must-read. We are now staring down a barrel of a crisis. This is the plan. We're not turning around now. Number 1, Stargate SG-1 Let's chat about Stargate SG-1. It's this awesome military sci-fi series, picking up after the 1994 movie Stargate. You follow SG-1, this elite team, as they zip around the galaxy via the Stargate network, battling tricky aliens called the Goal. Led by Colonel Jack O'Neill, they're a cool mix of characters, including Dr. Daniel Jackson, Captain Samantha Carter, and Teal'c fans love how it balances big story arcs with standalone episodes, mixing drama, comedy, and self-awareness perfectly. The cast, led by Richard Dean Anderson, nails it, keeping viewers hooked for 10 seasons. Sure, the pilot's a bit tied to the movie, but trust me, it's a wild ride. 
What the hell happened? In fact, it is we who need your help. And old Neil is under arrest for murder. Thank you for sticking with us until the end. We've journeyed through the galaxies of Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Apple TV+, Plus, discovering the top 10 best sci-fi series that have left us mesmerized and craving more. From mind-bending mysteries to epic space adventures, these shows have ignited our imaginations and kept us on the edge of our seats. As we conclude this exploration, may the wonders of science fiction continue to inspire and captivate us all. Until next time, keep exploring the infinite possibilities of the universe.